That's a Just Keeps Wedding tip. and happy Monday. I'm actually in my other room at Eddie's desk right now because we, we've we been working on, well, Eddie worked on this last night because it was taking forever, taking all of the pictures that I currently have on my computer and putting it onto his external because I have 12,000 pictures on my laptop and I didn't want to upload um, the ones from the photo shoot on Friday until we moved everything off but it's proving to be a much more difficult process than either one of us realized. So that's annoying. Um, I don't know if he's run out of space because there's a lot of videos on my computer or what, but I mean, a lot of these pictures are just like junk. So I could have just thrown them out if I sat and went through them, but 12,000 is a lot. So I'm trying to work on that a little bit, but I need to actually start getting ready because I gotta get to work. And yeah, that's pretty much it right now. I am exhausted. It's a rainy Monday which in my opinion should be illegal. Um, but I'm excited because this is gonna be a busy week. I have uh, a fitting with Sarah tomorrow and then Lauren's fitting on Wednesday for their bridesmaids dresses. My bachelorette is Saturday. I can't wait. It's, I don't know what I'm looking forward to because it's all a surprise, but I'm still excited. Um, so yeah, just kinda want this week to go pretty quick so we can get to the weekend already. Um, now I have to pack my food currently stuck outside of our apartment complex because of a huge ass fox. I don't even know what to do. And Eddie said he saw a fox this morning. I didn't believe him. I thought they were all gone. I mean, I didn't think he was lying, but I'm saying I didn't want to believe him. And this guy is like playing standoff and I, holy crap, he's huge. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, he's scared. Look, here we go. Look at him. <gasps> There's two! Finally made it into the apartment. That was a little scary. They got a little... That's the first time I've seen them that close. And two of them. Um, Eddie has seen them a lot more often than I have, but that's still not cool. So I'll have to tell the landlord tomorrow that they're back and bigger than ever. Uh, so I went to the gym. I did elevated training, which is basically leg day, on a step with weights. Uh, I had to deal with some pretty rude women tonight in my gym. I swear that people that go to my gym are just snots because it's an expensive gym and some people in my town are just not nice. So they came in late. They were in my way the whole time. I moved to where I needed to be for the move that I had to do and they had to work around me and I wasn't going to let them ruin my workout because that's not the first time it's happened and it really pisses me off if you interfere with my workout. So whatever. I burned... 530 calories, which is not bad for, I haven't had a rest day in over eight days. My body is tired. It's sore, um, but it's okay. I feel really good. And now I'm going to take a quick shower and then I'm going to make myself a shake, 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 shake. I'm having the clean series whey protein uh, in the chocolate flavor, a little bit of chocolate PB2. And I'm really excited because Stop and Chop just started carrying this. And it's a little more money than if I visited my local health food store. But for convenience factor, it's really nice that it was there because I haven't had it since we moved. And I just kind of grabbed it on a whim because Eddie was footing the bill. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're super excited. And a little bit of almond milk. I had a banana earlier today, so I don't know if I'm going to add banana to the shake. Um, but I did stick some blueberries in the freezer yesterday because they were starting to go bad in the fridge and I didn't want them to go to waste. So, you know, when fruit's on sale, like blueberries, if you can ever get a sweet deal, buy them, freeze them, have them all year round. That's a just keeps wedding tip. Going through my computer right now because I'm deleting uh, the photos off of it that we moved to the external hard drive. And apparently, I, I don't think I ever uploaded this footage, but I vlogged during Hurricane Sandy and I just came across this clip. Hold on. It, obviously my camera doesn't focus, but I thought I wanted, I wanted to show you guys. I'll probably know by now. Long Island and most of the East Coast is in Hurricane, uh, we're currently in the midst of Hurricane Sandy. And right now, this little guy's so scared. Um, our fence fell 
two pieces of our back fence. And then a few minutes ago, 15 or so fire trucks are now across the street and I have like a front row seat because our fence is down. So I figured I would show you guys a little bit of it. Um, it's really windy when I go like stand outside. So you're gonna hear a lot of wind gusts, but I figured I would just show you what I'm looking at right now and then keep you guys updated. Throughout the storm, we have had tons of power flickering. It's six o'clock at night. This is like, I think the worst of the storm is coming now. Look at this guy. So I won't bore you guys with the rest of that clip, but it turns out the reason that there were all the firefighters in our backyard, which I can show you a picture. It's just crazy to go through like these memories. Um, hold on. The reason, like that was our back, this is our back fence that just fell. And we live more, my parents live more towards the top of the block, closest to like Montauk Highway, which is a main road. Um, it turns out all the way down uh, by the water, a house actually exploded due to um, wires being in, I think there was like eight feet of water down there. So we didn't know that at the time. Uh, we found out the next day and there was pictures that were circulating the internet of firefighters from my town that were had battled the fires and the waters to go help the people and rescue them. It was just crazy. But I just wanted to show you guys that because, you know, I don't remember vlogging during the hurricane, but I could be wrong. Um, after that clip, after that night, we did lose power and we were actually moved out of our house for two weeks. Um, it was crazy. So just kind of reminiscing and remembering that time. That was also a week after my father had his heart attack. Like there was just a lot that went on uh, the month of October of last year. So taking a trip down crazy memory lane. Just one more Sandy related thing because this is just crazy. I know I did a blog post on this stuff, but this is what our food stores looked like. This is Stop and Shop. So we had nothing because nobody had power. They took everything out of the food stores. It was insane. I mean, like I rem obviously remember it. It wasn't that long ago, but it's just crazy to think that we're still, a lot of people are still recovering and coming back from it. And that's what we were living in eight months ago. It's just, I don't know, nine months ago. I don't know. I guess I'm just, oh, nine months ago. Maybe that's why so many babies are being born this month. <laughs> Two hours later and I finally deleted 10 thousand pictures from my computer 10,000 I went down a serious memory lane trip but uh sorry this vlog is kind of boring today that's what happens when I'm during the week when I have work but um yep yeah. I don't know where my dogs are there oh Max already went to bed <laughs> Eddie's at work so it's just one of those boring nights but uh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and I will see you guys tomorrow